Good evening. I'm here at Golden Valley High School and graduation just ended a few minutes ago. Now I have to tell you this graduation was like no other. Everyone was in mask and social distancing and today I was able to speak with attendees who tell me why this day was so special. Feels so great. I thought that this day would never really happen. Starting just after 8 p.m. on Monday, Golden Valley High School's class of 2020's graduation began with potentially a thousand in attendance. After weeks of uncertainty, if they would all be here due to the COVID-19 pandemic, many sharing how grateful they are to have this experience with loved ones. Para mis padres que llegaron sin nada, pero me dieron todo. For my parents that came with nothing but gave me everything, they came from El Salvador before I was even born to give me a better life and a better chance and a better future. So I wanted to demonstrate that in my cap and gown that I do it all for them. Crazy feeling. I woke up today saying, wow, this is it, you know? I wonder how many schools are doing this. I know some schools aren't doing this. They don't have the chance to do this, you know? Which is kind of heartbreaking. I'm just, I'm just really blessed to have a school like this, you know? give us an opportunity. School district officials say even with concerns from the Kern County Public Health Department about the large number of participants yeah, attending graduation, they believe the district planned accordingly. You know, my role as principal is, is to create the safest environment on campus uh, for this event um, that the Board of Trustees voted to have in place. So uh, when they did that, we started the planning, the, the pre-planning for that. And, um, and also included the district guidelines, and here we are. Because of COVID-19 health concerns, all guests were required by the Kern High School District to wear a mask. The school even handed out bulldog design masks, water, and hand sanitizer. KHSD board members say they will continue to hold in-person graduation ceremonies until a governmental agency says otherwise. In the meantime, graduation ceremonies will only allow two guests per graduate and graduates will be seated with their guests. And there will be a minimum of eight feet distancing between families on the field. But despite all the changes to the graduation celebration, Monday's ceremony ended with a unified message. The ability to rise up above this and, um, and that's everything. Um, there will be ups and downs and certainly right now and in, in our community and there, it is a downtime, but uh, uh, your destiny is in front of you and if you work hard, uh, you'll, you'll get there. And as you guys can see, the chairs here are spaced out as well. And I'm told by officials that this graduation will be used as an example for other graduations to come. And again, another congratulations to the class of 2020. For now in Bakersfield, Leslie Gooden, 23 ABC News, connecting you.